now I have to fit it in my house. Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel and thanks for watching another haul. Today we have a Costco haul. I have a very long list. It has been a while since we've gone to Costco, so I'm stocking up on all the paper goods, a bunch of pantry items, and some frozen things. But we do have a long list today. So hope you guys enjoy this video. If you do, hit the subscribe button and thumbs up for me. That helps other people find this video so they can watch this haul too. Whew, oh my gosh, there was a lot of people in Costco, like everybody and their mom. I know Sunday is probably like a really busy day for them, but it was really odd. I found like a lot of people were grabbing a bunch of water bottles and I was like, is there a hurricane coming? Because why is everybody buying the water right now? Um, but I am in the truck right now. I'm waiting for Adam to come in from PetSmart. He's grabbing some dog food for Rebel. Uh, PetSmart, where we live in Houston, is really close to the Costco and like this big shopping center. So we just stopped by here so we could grab that. And in the back here, I have a bunch of our stuff. And in the very back of the truck, we have all the sparkling waters and like coconut water and stuff like that. And I got a whole big thing of V8, which I'm excited about. So when we get home, we'll lay it all out and show you guys. Um, overall, there were only a few things on my list that I could not find. I was looking for a vinaigrette that had like a good oil in it and every of them, each one of them, them that I found had soybean oil, so I didn't pick up any of those. Toilet paper, they didn't have the kind of toilet paper I liked. Paper towels, they were out of the Kirkland brand, the Costco brand, so I just got the Bounty, which I think is gonna be more expensive, but overall, it'll be better. And then, let's see, I couldn't find wa waffle fries or hash browns. Somebody had suggested that I get waffle fries there, but I couldn't find them, and when there's so many people around, it's like, let me just grab what I know I need so I can get out of here. I need to find out like the slowest times of Costco to go there, but we only have like, I think we only have two Costco's in Houston and this is the one closest to our house. So let's see. I also couldn't find any coffee syrups. I wanted to find like a different kind of flavoring for my coffee. They didn't have any of that, but for the most part, I got everything else on the list and then some. So I'm excited to show you guys what I got. Overall, we spent $400. We had a $43 off like reward certificate. So it was like $450 minus the $43. So it was about $400. And then we had to renew our annual membership, which is $120. So $520 this time, which was more expensive than any other time I've gone to Costco, I think. So this is my largest Costco haul. I'm excited to get home and show it all to you guys. There he is. <laughs> This is how much dog food Rebel eats. I gotta get the big one. Okay, guys, this is definitely the biggest haul I have ever done. It is about $445 before our discount. And I got a lot. I almost considered, like, this is my, like, kitchen island. I almost considered, like, taking it to the dining room or, like, maybe even over there also in the breakfast nook if I needed to. I think I fit everything here though. All right, so we're gonna start with kind of like the dairy stuff and eggs and things like that. I don't buy produce really at, at Costco at all unless I know like I'm gonna be making something that week that requires a lot of it. Um, okay, so eggs, I picked up the eggs. I always get these when I go to Costco. These are 24 eggs and they're about $7, which is so much cheaper than I can get at HEB. At HEB it's about six fifty seven bucks for 18. So you get basically you know, six more eggs for the same price. So that's great. I picked up the Kerrygold butter. I get the unsalted kind. I just really like to uh, cook cook and eat unsalted butter and then I'll just add uh, salt as needed. That's a great price there. I always grab that. I grabbed this Cheddar Jack cheese. I contemplated not doing this because it's got these two big bags and it's like $13.50. Later, I'm actually going to calculate it out and see if this is a better deal than what I pay at HEB and I'll let you guys know right here somewhere on the screen if it is better or not um and then i'll decide next time if i'm gonna keep buying it this way because i you know we do end up going through this machines and it does have like a longer expiration date so it works and you can actually freeze one of these which i might was what i might do but um it's just a lot to stock into your freezer and fridge especially if for just two people 
but I'm going to calculate and see if it's a better deal. I got this goat cheese. I feel like the logs are bigger last time, but I do like to grab the goat cheese there. It's like $7 for these two, which is a great deal because normally when you buy like a half size of this, when it's about like six or five to six ounces, that costs like $4 at the store. So it's like $3.98 at HEB. So for seven bucks for this great deal there. I haven't seen this before, so I thought I'd pick it up. We love fresh mozzarella. We love to like eat of tomatoes and basil and balsamic and just do a little caprese salad or just in general we'll have it. But this is already sliced and ready to serve. So there's two big ones of these and they're already pre-sliced for you, which is always my struggle because my slices end up looking ugly. So I picked up this. thought that would be good for us to have around for some snacks. I grabbed some of this no salt seasoning. This is my go-to seasoning that I use when I am buying or when I am cooking vegetables. So any sort of vegetables that I do, I always grab this no salt seasoning. I like it with no salt because I know that I can control how much salt goes into it. I basically just coat my vegetables with this and then I add in some olive oil or avocado oil, whatever I'm feeling that day, and then put it in the toaster oven to roast. So super simple, super easy. All right, I also grabbed some of this agave. It's a great deal at Costco. You get these two huge ones for about seven or eight bucks and they last a long time. So these are gonna go up into the bar. When I make my margaritas, I only use agave. I don't use simple syrup. So this is like a crucial element to have in our house because we love margaritas. I also picked up this maple syrup. Again, this is a huge steal from Costco. It is $10 for this huge jar of it. I like to get the organic all like real 100% real maple syrup this is what I get I don't buy like any of like the fake like just I don't even know what they're called like Mrs. Buttersworth or whatever it is like I don't buy that stuff I only get the maple syrup and this is $10 if I buy this at HEB it's $16 so huge discount there all right we also picked up some of these garlic and jalapeno stuffed olives Adam loves these there's like two different kinds of olives we can get there um, I think one of them just has pimentos in it. This one has jalapeno and garlic in it. So he loves these. He will just come home and eat these as a snack. So we always grab one of these. I'm actually kind of surprised he didn't get two of them. But I've also been buying some jalapenos, I mean, um, olives at Trader Joe's for him. So that's probably why. I picked up some of this albacore wild tuna. There are, I believe, six cans in here. I like this kind because it's actually not like... Um, it's not packed with water or with oil. It's just basically the tuna like shoved in there and sealed. So it's perfect. And we were actually, we only had like, I think one more can of this. So I grabbed this for some quick meals. Grab some of this Primal Kitchen mayonnaise. It's made of avocado oil. I love this stuff. Um, it's hard to find it in the store and it's just much cheaper at um, Costco than it is at HEB. Grab some of these artichoke hearts. These are my favorite. They're quarters and halves marinated in oil. Um, the oil isn't the best here. I think it's like a blend of, let's see. Oh, it's just canola oil. So it's just canola oil. So it's not really that great, but they're delicious. These are the best artichokes I've ever had. They are $10 for, this, for two of these containers. And we will put these in salad. So every time I make a salad, we pull these out. Sometimes I'll just grab a few as a snack. I'll slice them up. If I want them to be smaller, you can see like there's a little bit of a bigger one there. And um, sometimes they have quarters or slivers in here. And then when the jar is empty, I will basically take the oil that's in here and I will um, mix it up with some lemon or lime juice and some more seasonings and marinate some chicken in there. Picked up two of our Mateo salsa. I love these salsas. Uh, this is the medium kind at, I mean, at Costco, they're only $6 for each jar of these. And the jar has 32 ounces in it. So that's a really great deal. When we go to HEB, I'll show you the size comparison on this and my fridge right now. Here it is. So in the, right now we have this 16 ounce jar and I'll pop up the price on the screen right now so I can tell you how much that costs at HEB. This is a 16 ounce jar and I would bet that this costs like $4. And I'm pretty sure, you know, for twice the salsa, it's six or seven bucks. I'll put the price comparison up here so you can see it's such a good deal and we love it. So we get we got two this time. HEB has like four different kinds of the salsa you can get, but um, this is really our, our favorite one and it's the one that they have at Costco. So that's what we get.
Then I got some ground Himalayan pink salt. This is a salt that I use all the time. I also recently purchased some like coarse, like big chunks of it to put in our grinder. Like when we're having dinner at the house and we have friends over, we always like to pull like the fancy grinders out. But at, near the stove, I just keep a big bowl of this salt and I was almost out of it. So I picked up some more milk chocolate covered almonds <laughs> these don't ever stay at the house so i don't ever get to eat these adam takes these to work with him and he said that the guys were talking about it at work recently and so he's like oh i'm going to costco i'll grab more so he just takes those up to work and they all like snack on them i got this victoria marinara sauce um i haven't tried this one before but i knew i wanted to get marinara sauce today i was thinking i'd get rose because that has like no added sugar in it they were out of rose and this was actually a dollar cheaper and this also has no sugar in it so it has four grams of sugar in there i don't know if you can see that yeah four grams of sugar in there and there's no added sugar so the ingredients are just tomatoes onions olive oil salt garlic basil spices and calcium chloride that's a just preservative so i thought that would be a really good option for us to have some extra marinara sauce it was about ten dollars for both of these which i think is more expensive than what i normally pay this is a 40 ounce jar heb has a really good deal with their organic marinara sauce so i might evaluate it if it's really great i'll get it again if not i won't back here i have some of these chewy protein bars these are 10 grams of protein and they were actually really inexpensive. So it's 42 bars. It was $12.79 for all of these. And then the other one, the Nature Valley bars, which I think they're trying to like copycat on it because this is peanut butter and semi-sweet chocolate chip. The Nature Valley bars that Adam has had before, he says they give him acid reflux. So I thought we'd try these. He likes to eat these for breakfast on the way to work. So I wanted to stock up and have some. I've been ordering some off of Thrive Market sometimes or just anywhere that I can find different type of bars that he might like with enough protein in it that it's you know actually a breakfast and not just a candy bar so the nature valley had 30 for the same price instead of the 42 so i'd try the kirkland brand of that picked up some face mask adam had to run back and find this for me because i could not find it so i recently have just like really liked the paper masks i guess better than the cotton ones i think these are easier to breathe in and with me going back to the office more, like I wanted to get some of these. So for 50 of them, it was $10, which isn't that bad, I guess, because honestly, I'll use the same paper mask for a couple days before I like chunk it because I really only wear it like walking into the office building and walking out of the office building. And then, um, you know, at my desk, I don't have to wear it. And, you know, we don't really have a lot of people in our office, so we don't wear it a lot because I'm not in interacting with a lot of people. So whenever I am, I put it on, but it's not worn all day because I have my own office. I also got some of these super bars, Zo, Zoe super bars, beef recipe. These are dog treats. So it says protein packed snack with berry and flax seed. Um, we will see if Rebel likes it. I'm sure he will. It says it's grain and gluten free. Funny when we like brought in everything. Oh look, you can probably hear me over there. Hey, are you paying attention? Are you listening? I got you some treats. Oh, there he, is. there he goes now. Now he's gonna come over here and look at him. So these are the Super Bars beef recipe. On the back, it says that they have cranberries and, there he is, <laughs> cranberries and blueberries, flaxseed along with beef. So I'm thinking he might like these. There is, how many bars in here? Let's see. It says two pounds of treats. It doesn't say how many are in here, but they're, it looks like a lot. And it was, I think, $13. So I try to like grab this when we go, get him something different so he can have one. Let's see if we can get him one now. All right, can you sit? Good boy. Can you shake? Shake. Good boy. Other paw? Good boy. There you go. Bye-bye. He'll be entertained for a while now. So got those treats we'll see how long it takes him to demolish it probably not as long as it takes me to record this haul because he goes so quick i got the vanity fair napkins they have two different sizes of these 660 napkins these are the size that we use i'll show you actually what they look like these are the lunch size size you can also get a dinner size but this is like the lunch size right here so this fits perfectly on our little simple human napkin holder and it's just the perfect size to fit right here and these are we use them for lunch and dinner all the time same size napkin doesn't matter the dinner ones are much bigger and would be more like if you were to have like a an actual cloth napkin it'd be more like that size i picked up some q-tips adam said is this gonna be enough to last me 10 years i said well i don't know you use one every day so 365 divided by 1875 nope 
not 10 years, but <laughs> it'll last a while. I'll probably put some upstairs in the guest bathroom as well so that they can be used there. But I just remembered I checked below his sink and saw that he was short on them. So I picked these up. Um, I don't remember how much they were. I think they were like eight or nine bucks, but it seemed like a good enough deal for, you know, how often he goes through it. Then I got some of these Kleenex. These are on sale actually, I think $3 off. I like to get the cubes. I normally get the Puffs brand. They didn't have those there. And last time in my last Costco haul, I did buy the Kirkland brand in the cube, but I really didn't like them. I think I have one box left still, but then I had to go buy more puffs recently um, when I got sick and had COVID. I needed those, so we went through some, and so then this has 12 cubes in here. I have one of these basically everywhere in the house. There's one in the living room, the office, every bedroom has them, the upstairs like little living space has it, the man loft has them everywhere in the house we have these so i like to keep them around i just think it's one of those things you should always have tissues in the house i picked up some of these bounty um, paper towels 12 rolls of these these were 20 bucks and i kind of felt like that was expensive but we'll see how fast we go through them the last time i went i got the Co the kirkland costco brand for paper towels and i felt that they were just as good as any other brand and so i was really going to grab those but they didn't have them. So we picked this one out because we need paper towels and I'm gonna do the math and see if it was cheaper to buy it this way or cheaper to just buy it at HEB using a different brand or whatever that may be. Oh, somebody's excited about his tree. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> Are you having fun, Rebel? Yeah, he's like, give me another treat, mama. Okay, so that I think is all the paper goods I got. Then I picked up some of these pretzels. They tricked me last time and moved these pretzels to the little like center aisle with all of the snacks. Before they were near the chips, but now they're near the snacks. I love these. I will use them to dip in my like dill dip with my like sour cream and Hidden Valley Ranch dill mix. Delicious. They're good in hummus. Um, that's basically all I dip them in though. They're not really like a salsa dipper. Got some of this organic coconut water. Uh, this is like the huge like nine times one liter package. This one does have added sugar in it though. I think I saw that it's two grams added sugar, maybe in the whole container, maybe per serving, which is kind of a lot, but, um, cause like the one at HEB you can get with no added sugar, but I thought I'll just get it while we're here. Adam loves to drink this after workouts and um, might be good to have around. Okay, I think we went over all of that. Okay, I'm gonna start with some more of these drink items before I go into the rest of the food. It's just meats left. V8. I love V8. I don't know if I'm weird like that, but I used to drink V8 as a child. I think that it's because my papa used to drink V8 all the time and I thought it was really cool and I wanted to be like him. So it's a 28 pack of the cans and I think it made out to about 47 cents each for each can, which I know for a fact is cheaper than buying an HEB because there it's more like 60, 60 cents a can if you buy it in the group or like 85 cents a can if you buy them individually. So gonna love those, gonna take this upstairs, put them in the fridge and the man loft. And then we got some more sparkling water. We got two different kinds. Waterloo was about $7, $7.99 I think. So it's like $8 for all of these, which is more expensive. And then LaCroix was on sale. So LaCroix was on sale for $2 off. So it made out to about be $6 for the whole 24. But with Waterloo, we got the black cherry. I know we like black cherry. Adam likes the lemon lime. Um, there's the strawberry, which we like. It's not like one of our favorites, but we'll still drink it. And then with the LaCroix, this one has six tangerine, six passion fruit, and 12 key lime, which Adam will drink. So we got one of each. We probably should have got more because we've been like drinking like probably two sparkling waters a day recently, but, um, we'll start off with this. Like basically when we run out of these huge packages of sparkling water is when like, I'm like, all right, we got to go back to Costco now. <laughs> all right. So now more of like the frozen and meat items so i wanted to grab some of the broccoli packets where they do like a one pound broccoli packet and there's like four in a bag four in a big bag this is the same thing though it's four one pound steam bags of brussels sprouts so i was looking for the organic broccoli they didn't have it and i was like well let's grab something so our options are green beans or brussels sprouts we grabbed the brussels sprouts that was adam's vote so we'll have four bags of that which will basically be four dinners worth of of us heating it up cooking it however maybe adding some balsamic vinegar maybe some parmesan maybe smashing them who knows we'll do these on the side and then adam will take the rest to work the next morning so that'll be like a good vegetable for us to have in the freezer and then i picked up some of this atlantic cod 
I like to get this frozen fish there because I feel like they come, each, each package has individually wrapped packages, portion size five to eight ounces, and they're each vacuum sealed inside. So you can just, I'll open this whole bag and just dump it into the deep freezer and then just find them as I find them. And that will be like just a great meal. I can grab a couple fillets out of there, put it in the fridge, let it thaw, and then make them for dinner. So these are kind of like some quick and easy dinner options. Then I had someone suggest I should get chicken nuggets from Costco. I posted to my Instagram stories asking, and someone said you should get chicken nuggets. But I looked, and I didn't really find a lot that looked that great. But I did find these, and these are on sale. So I got these crispy chicken strips, and these were on sale. They were about $7.50 for the whole bag, which I thought was a really good deal for how big this bag is. It's three pounds. And this is the Tyson brand. We do like the Tyson like blackened chicken and they had that there, but we still have some left over from the last Costco haul. So I just wanted to grab these as something different. I could probably actually fry these or put them in the toaster oven and get them nice and crispy in the toaster oven. So grab those as kind of like a, you know, a cheat, cheat meal sort of thing. A little reminiscent of childhood eating fried chicken strips. I also picked up some of this uh, smoked Norwegian salmon slices. So this packet has three different kinds, pepper, traditional, and dill, and it looked super delicious. So they also had some Costco brands of this, of, of different like types of smoked salmon. They had some sockeye salmon, but this one looked good. It says this includes a packet of honey mustard dill sauce, which seems kind of interesting, but we will just use this on top of, um, on top of some, bagels or i may do something crazy and do it on top of some crackers like they have back here like for a little appetizer one day i don't know smoked salmon just seemed like the way to go today so i picked it up i also got some of this salami and antipasta stuff this is really a great deal this is about 12 dollars for all of this together i think it's 12 dollars let me get back to you on that. I'll post the price here so you guys can see that because I feel like it's a great deal. It may be less than $12, but basically it has black pepper coated dry salami, Italian dry salami, dry copa, and prosciutto in each one of these, and they're individually sealed. So I'll just pull this apart, stack it in the fridge, and we will open one and just work on it. We love to have little like almost like charcuterie board ingredients if you can't tell with like the artichokes and the olives and like the smoked salmon and the mozzarella we love to have like charcuterie board items in the house because some days we will just make a charcuterie board and that'll be dinner so this is what we have now and i love this this is a great a great price for all that you get and the different variety in here now to the chicken and the last set of stuff that i got from costco i love to get my chicken from costco so we have like a great source for beef. HEB does really good at doing grass-fed beef. The prices compared to Costco are not that great. There's not much of a big difference. And I find that I use more chicken frequently. Like, so if it's like, oh, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm like, oh, I can grab a package of chicken breasts out of the freezer and then I can use some of this oil to marinate it in and Adam can grill it, boom, there's dinner. So I love to do stuff like that and that's why I love to have these individually sealed packages in here. I will just literally take scissors and cut all of these apart before I put them in the freezer today. But so here's what I got. I got the organic chicken party wings. Um, I got two packages of these actually. So these were a good deal. They were $2.99 a pound, which is a great deal for what you get. And I've discovered that basically me and Adam, when we eat wings, we eat a lot of wings. We eat wings and like salad or wings and maybe we'll do fries sometimes, but normally it's wings and salad. So we eat a lot of wings. So basically we'll take two of these packages and eat them at, at, for one dinner with different sauces and things like that. So I got two packages because they come with three each and I thought one dinner, that's one dinner together and then there's a third dinner. So we're gonna have wings for three dinners in the next few months or so. Those will go in the freezer. I got the organic chicken thighs. Again, in the individual packages, I will slice these up and each one of these will make enough for us to have a dinner and then leftovers for Adam's lunch the next day. So this is one dinner, two dinner, three dinner, dinner plus a lunch the next day, maybe some leftovers. If we're gonna have company, I'll do two of them. If we're having a lot of people over, which doesn't happen anymore because of COVID, I do all of them. Just kind of depends, but I like to, how they're broken up in these smaller containers so that it's more manageable than buying a huge container of them. 
Again, chicken breast, same thing. I looked for one that was on the smaller side. This is about 4.41 pounds. That way each one would be just a little bit over a pound. So I will cut all these up. Same thing, these will all go in the, fr uh, in the freezer and I will know that I have chicken ready to go for meals. Young chickens, young chicken, old chicken, I don't care what it is, it's a whole chicken and this they did not have organic. Otherwise I would have bought it, but I will warn you, if you buy a whole organic chicken from Costco, it is going to be expensive. So the two of these together was $9.32 and that is 99 cents a pound, which is much cheaper than anything else here. The breasts were $4.99 a pound, the uh, chicken thighs were $4.49 a pound, and the wings were $2.99 a pound, which is why I love to stock up on the wings because it's such a great price for organic chicken. So organic chicken wings, $3 a pound. If you like wings, this is the way to go. We always put them on the grill. So that's why I stock up on those. And these I just buy one package of, and I was gonna compare the prices for the organic chicken, but the last time I remember, it was like you'd pay $30 for two chickens. And I'm like, that's a little excessive when I can just go to your rotisserie section and buy an organic rotisserie chicken for like seven bucks, like already cooked. But I do like to have these because I like to make my own bone broth with them. So I grabbed a couple of these anyways, even though they're not organic, it'll be okay. And it is $9.32 for two chickens. This is just some little like cellophane, like saran wrap paper on the outside here. And I will just pull these apart and then put them in the freezer like that. Uh, the weird thing about this though is that my recipe that I have for chicken, you really have to weigh it out. And since this weight is done per like the whole unit, it's 9.1, 9.41 pounds for this whole unit. You will have to weigh your chicken before you cook it in order to make sure that you cook it properly when you roast it. If you follow my method, which is in one of my YouTube videos as well. So that's what I do with these chickens. And then I'll save the carcass and make bone broth with it. And I will drink that because it has so many great benefits for you. And this is my big Costco haul. Um, it's a lot. <laughs> I'm not super thrilled about putting it up. That's like the worst part about grocery shopping is like you buy all this stuff and then like, now I have to fit it in my house. So that's my huge Costco haul though. I, this is basically like a lot of my favorites. Like I did not get a lot of really anything that I haven't bought before. So if you're looking for Costco ideas, check out my haul because this is where it's at. These are the things that I buy at Costco all the time. My list of things I wanted to stock up on is right here. So I hope you guys have a great day and have enjoyed this video. Let me know down below, am I missing something at Costco that I should be buying? I would love to hear that. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to see more hauls like this. And I hope you guys have a great day.